A building with more than 500 rooms in the Ketu area of Lagos, southwest Nigeria, has partially collapsed. The incident is believed to have been caused by heavy rainfall on Saturday. However, there are indications that a partial collapse may be due to other factors. Two individuals are currently in critical condition at a private hospital following the unfortunate incident. Ni Omoni has more. Clothing, television and more are a few of the items left behind as residents flee the collapsed Agboye complex, which houses over 500 rooms. The lack of visible safety measures in these closely knit blocks raises concern. It appears that warnings were issued beforehand. If you get to, to that place, you see where the, 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 the thing collapsed. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a uh, soccer way there. They put the foundation of the house on the, on the, on the soccer way. Yeah, I, he has collected money. I, I paid uh, 100000 uh, it, it, uh, uh, about two months ago for renewal. He couldn't do anything. But what, when this woman was saying, uh, Baba said he has given up quick notice. That was why I flew up. Look at, see, see something. He has just said this thing. A few days ago, I received some petition in my office that the houses, you know, started checking. So we came here, we saw it, and we alerted the state. And the state government quickly intervened, and they came to start a warning. Affected residents are now stranded with only a few salvaged items from the collapse. You cannot go inside because the place is too narrow. There is no uh, direct entry. So as we are trying to carry some of our property, the building still fell down. Uh, one man died uh, instantly. They, they, ru they rushed uh, some to the, uh, two to the hospital. And some of the people living here are not owners of those shops. Yeah? So, uh, you know, there are some people in my house over there also. So we are common. We can't do. They, are, they, are, they, they were our neighbors before the incident happened. We cannot just throw them away like that. A team led by the newly appointed Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development in Lagos on his inaugural official visit conducted an on-the-spot assessment. Look at the building. I, I'm not sure this is what was approved. So on that ground alone, whoever is the owner is due to face the law. This place is not safe for habitation. So that is the first priority to move, get everybody off, and the normal thing will be done. Take your things. Do you get dinner? Notably, the property owner could not be located I don't know that. I don't know anything about that. Only that I'm trying to see my dad now, but he's nowhere to be found. But I heard he has been taken out of the premises for protection. Additionally, some residents claim that certain individuals attempted to steal their belongings during the chaos. Now, an enforcement team from the Lagos State Building Control Agency is here to ensure compliance with the eviction notice. The fate of the building remains uncertain. Will it be demolished and the property owner facing legal consequences? These and others are the repeated questions residents of Lagos ask. Ni Omani, reporting for New Central Lagos. Thank you.